Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Fire 4, Kaiser, I said Ching, let's continue on for last that's off, so... Eh? Um, so we're trying for the Chinese United Front, we have 35 days till that happens. We're desperately, desperately trying to make something here work. What if you, like, attack here? This doesn't really move the needle at all, though. You know, hold position, then. Yeah, because you can go to the city, that's fine. Like, we're trying to get away from Nanning. You take Nanning, that should at least get this one specific guy to capitulate. We also have you guys. Federal government. Who is proving to be, uh, meddlesome. To, to say the least. Please. You know, you fight this guy. Yeah, do this. Mongolia. You are at 11 to 21 divisions. You are surrounded, but we should be able to get you dislodged. We've been reinforcements trying to make their way in. You've almost lost Beijing. Not ideal. Um, <laughs> what, what can I do to make this work? The answer is I don't know at all. Like, we have to win this fight. Right? Like, we, we have no choice but to win. Unless, of course, the Chinese United Front ends this war and they join our side. But even then, I don't know. Who's in Brown Army? We have one division here. They're, they're, they're trying their damnedest, but I really don't know if that's working out so well for them. Like, this one Japanese troop's dead. So, I mean, that that's something. It sure is something. Japan's lost 350,000, man. And Ching's so close to capitulating. We've we've got to hold on for dear life. I actually don't even know. Yeah, your borders actually end here. This is not your core territory. Some units here. I mean, you're worth five. But five, I don't think is enough. Like, we need to take this. Actually, we might need to take both, honestly. Still very superiority in this region. I know that for sure. There's no way they took that from us. But it's such, a, we're in such a dangerous position right now, and I hate it so much. Yeah, you guys kill this. You're making your way to your actual front lines. You're, uh, you go here. Yellow Army, your job is to march your way north. I know we did lose a lot of territory because of Anshin calling all their units back. But, like, what choice did I have? Uh, I don't think I had any. Be quite honest with you. Nobody's on this front line, by the way. You're all here. Delete this. Like, I, I, there's no way we're getting support from anybody outside of just uh, anyone, really. You know what we could do? We could fight you, and like you try to make something here work. Like get a small surround going, but I don't think that's gonna do shit either, dude. I don't. Uh, I mean, all we can really rely on is this Chinese United Front making a miracle happen. Yes. A United Front. Anybody going to join it? I can understand, like, Mongolia, for example, not wanting in. They're not really part of China. But... How long? You two? Fucking ah, God! You go to here. I know this is basically the same maneuver we did against them earlier, but I, it can always work. Just because something failed once doesn't mean it's, it's destined to fail forever. You go to Yellow Army, I guess. So we did lose the port. We've lost this port. I have no access to international trade, like at all. I think you're- are you leaving? Yes. Okay. Well, that's- that, that helps us, I, I guess. That the AI just kind of did that for no good reason. Like, there's a full- a beautiful 24 stack of troops right here. That I just don't have access to. These are the longest days ever. I have never felt a longer day in my entire life. You're making movement. You guys go here. You fight this guy. Like, just any progress. 
but we just... What if? No, because you don't have guns. Like, we don't have rifles. How long would this production shortage last for? It would last for 127 days, assuming, of course, we never take any more casualties. Of course, that's an impossibility. We are going to be taking casualties. Two more weeks. These are, I mean... Like, I just don't have the... Fall back. Fall back. I know it's really bad for us. You join United Front? That's nice. That's one person who doesn't border... I mean, I guess you'd help against the War of Mongolia. You have 525 divisions. Because I think... The Qing gar I am the Qing government. The Kuming National Government joins the United Front. Yes. I will call for the ceasefire. All the positions. Like, if we could take a little bit more. We've got a... We've got a... We're sending more reinforcements and I think we're going to take this entire area here. We're about to lose Beijing and I don't think there's anything you joined the gut. I, I'm glad you're all in agreement here. We got one more week. It, it frees up 24 divisions for sure. Not against Mongolia. Mongolia, I, I don't think it's any influence here. So many of our troops are actually stuck. Yeah, like, I, I can't get a ceasefire with the Japanese for obvious reasons. They're not going to... You've also been attacked, and now I, I don't know what I can do to stop this. The Luna, you are this guy. Yes, give me the ceasefire. Three days. If like I'm, if we can make it out of this war alive. Oh, you, you took back. Oh, you took the capital. Again, a lovely, um, lovely job from you guys. You go to here. Yeah, you go there. Again, if we can kill Mongolia, we can kill anybody. You go here. You're on that front. Thank you. But again, that is 24 divisions that we could be using on just an, any other front line. Well, now we notice, uh, yeah, everybody joins the Chinese United Front. Why are we still worthy you? Were you not supposed to join the Chinese United Front? Call the arms from everybody. I guess they could have rejected the ceasefire. Are you at war with Mongolia? You are! We got the Chinese United Front. You've actually disbanded your own faction. So unfortunately, I don't get my troops back. But I guess it does kind of put you in a bad situation. The United Front has formed. But it also means that you're not in the faction anymore. So it's kind of helped me out. We have no attack or defense bonuses. I'm assuming that might get better as we take more territory. Yeah, you now have a much larger front line, so we're going to pull troops off that front. Makes sense. We want to take this city up towards the north, so move in that direction, please. You come over here, fight that guy. And you just need to take a handful of cities. We'll kill the Mongolians. And our friendship will be forged in blood. Changing federal government, like everybody. Hanjing is so, so weak right now. We haven't lost Beijing, though. You know what? You need the last stand. Hold your ground for as long as possible. 
just opening up a, a, I guess like maybe like a twelfth front against the Japanese. This is what you get. Like you could have, you could have joined the the front, but you actively chose not to. I'm assuming at least. We're also we're Burma. I don't think that means too much, but I guess it is something that we should note. We take Naning. Like that should, I think, be the end of you as a faction. Uh, yes. Give me any anything you have. I will take it. No questions asked. Were any of you guys moving, by the way? The answer is no. Okay, so we'll keep on fighting. Just because I think it makes the most amount of sense. You have moved troops down and towards the national government. And I will give these guys the territory if they capture it. Um, even though it does make the future for us harder. You did lose this territory because you are a, a monster. We don't want to have a border with the Fanny government up to the north though. That is important to note. Let's go to Moron because it just kind of is what I am at this point. Or at least it very much feels that way. Who's calling forces back? Shout on Cleek. I, I understand that, dude. Yeah, I, I should be using you guys more uh, offensively. They they don't have a port. That's good. That's good to know for those guys down there. They don't have the capacity really to fight back. And Mongolia, they're they're close to dying. All their cities are worth one, so it really doesn't matter which one we take. And just hoping for the Xenon clique to take over the important cities. You're at 70. You're getting surrounded, which is nice. I am worried about the Anjong clique uh, taking some massive penalties. And the federal government not being really where I want it to be. What if I... You go here. You go here. You shouldn't really have any fuel left. And have we lost Beijing? The answer is like, yes. Uh, for sure. Beijing is no longer under our control. We have captured a Japanese operative. Always look on the, br the bright side of life. Um... You got 99. Beijing has fallen. Really, really sad day for us. Because you're at 30. Like, you're allied to each other, I think, so technically. What if you go, like, up and around like that? I mean, where's your current capital? It's all the way up here. The Japanese Marines almost took it. Are you calling all of them back? You might be. Yeah, I know I won't be able to build anything. That's really very low on the uh, the priority list right now. Did take more on. I guess you go take whatever they consider to be their capital. I don't know if it makes any actual difference here. I don't even know why Mongolia is fighting me, to be quite honest. I don't know what... Do they have claims to my territory? They must... Do they? I don't know why Mongolia invaded me, other than I guess just because they could. Can you guys... Do you guys... You guys do not connect down to here. You need to invade. Please, I beg of you. Anjing's been exiled. They have capitulated and they took all the no! No 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 no. That's not how this works. They don't get this territory back. That's not how any of this works. 
Okay, let's try to unify these guys back up. Fall back, fall back. Okay. Honestly, if we take Nodding, I'm just annexing them through the... Uh, Anqing reaches Anqing. I, I don't know what that means, but okay. But six. Do you guys connect here? You do. I think you are now considered no longer connected to the capital. Just use the weird way things work in this game. But we still have Beijing. We've lost like all our defensive positions, which is also, I would say, quite bad. You were my horse doing good work, and then you leave me like this. How dare you? Do I have any? Is there any cities around here that we don't have? The answer to the question looks like it's no. I mean, you have to go that way. It's really the only thing you can do. There's no reason to flood those areas yet. How much are these cities worth? Two and two. I mean, I guess I'll go back and capture them, even though I really shouldn't have to. Yeah, like, nothing. Like, that would be their capitulation. How long do you even reach Gang Zhao? 12 days. And, like, th this whole front is now completely exposed, and I, I have no way to uh, hold it. I mean, I do have Yellow Army. That is true. However, are you going to go take the capital? Do not take the capital. I guess it's actually you're going to take Moron, which is, is less important. You guys. I need a front line here. You'd be willing to send me four divisions. You know what? That's all I need to go take this city and you guys to go take that city. That's all I need from you. And also, this nonsense is not looking so great. Because you're Japan's not at war with this. You guys are moving your way down towards the south. You guys have captured some of these cities. Like, you should not exist at this point. Like, you should have lost the war. Hmm. You here, you here. I'm, I don't want to be on the front line with Manchuria quite yet. Like, it's very important that we just kind of avoid that for now. How long do you get there? 30 days? How? Why do you have no supplies at all? Like, do I have military... A I should have military access through you. I, I don't know where your supply issues would be coming in here. Like, there shouldn't be troops in this area. Because yeah, you're now connected to Hunan Clique. We're kind of holding the north. Kind of. You're not very good, but we'll still research you. Okay, we'll fight this guy to make our front line a little bit shorter. We're no longer giving that one guy loans, which makes sense, because they don't really exist anymore. Like, why 30 days? I'm guessing... Because supplies are coming from our capital, even though... It is a bit strange. For sure. Will you be enough to be considered capitulated if I take this? They're 47. Okay, that, again, shouldn't have taken this long. But that's at least you dead. You're now not in the war. I'm going to throw all my units onto this. Not all that front. Not against the, uh, that guy. Just here. And then, one, two, three. Keep, like, U4 on this front. Again, delete this. Just on this front. Who are you? 
Yeah, you're these guys. Never mind. I, that's under I know what you're doing. How many men have you lost? Uh, 699,000. I mean, Japan's lost a lot of men in this war. We're trying to integrate Korea, which I, I don't appreciate. Can you please go over to this front? American Union States, Calip uh, yeah, so Pacific States is uh, won their war. Russia, do you have any um, particular interest in invading uh, Japan? Because it would benefit me uh, a, a great deal. I actually might need the manpower, which is insane. Um, the fall of New Orleans. Apparently, you guys got like three states. Yeah, you took a little bit of territory. That's okay. How long do you guys get to there? It's going to take you 19 days. It's going to take you 18 days. So, you know, you might as well go to here instead. You guys prepare an invasion of the north. Like, it's... It's messy. It is messy. I guess you guys might as well be moving in and take some provinces. You know, while you're in the neighborhood. Yeah, and you're now pushing up in this direction, which is not great. Federal government. If I put a front line, let's just say theoretically, not there. That makes no sense. Like, let's say right here. You would give me seven divisions. Hunan clique. You would give me five. Please be on that front. Sign some commanders. Go up towards the north. I'm assuming like supplies are bad just because it's like freezing cold up here. Like where did our borders originate? Like where did Anqing begin and where did where do they end? I don't know. Hire the flying tigers. Sure. I can integrate some provinces. Like, what do you want me to? What are we flashing about? I don't care about voting. Are you out of your goddamn mind? I have who? Oh, you're the guy from Anqing. You also, please go to this army. We need the help. <laughs> For sure. Like, what are what are our numbers right now? 1.75 to 2.75. Yeah, that's also including uh, you and Mongolia, though. So it's not as bad. It's still horrible. When would you get there? I, I, like, an entire month? Where's the North China Plain? You have, like, no strength at all. But maybe you can possibly stop... Okay, you did stop naval invasion from actually landing. So I would consider that to be progress. It looks like that was the original border. So we have lost a lot of our territory. Um, in this fight. We do have reinforcements slowly trickling their way in. What? No, you don't do anything. Yeah, do this. That's okay. You should have just joined the war. I'm almost capitulated, by the way. Uh, I'm at 48%. There are a handful of other major powers in the, the faction, but not a lot. Not a lot. By the way, can I actually have you extend your way up towards into the entirety of Hunan clique? It's just a really bad... I'm, I'm, I'm glad they're putting troops into like uh, the legation cities for absolutely no reason. That does help us out slightly. When are you going to be there? Six more days. You'll be in your city in nine days. So I'm, I'm hoping that will be the end of the war against uh, Mongolia. And then, of course, the question is, do I put troops into defending government or do I put troops into freaking... Uh, probably put them into China? Put a handful of troops into the north and that's about it. 
Like, getting the federal government to collapse. No, you're not the federal government. You're, like, the national government. Getting them to collapse. Would be nice. Like, how close are they capitulating? They're not that close. Okay, you have six days. I will give you, like, supplies, which I guess is something. It's just a... It's a, it's a big yikes moment. There's a 24-7... Oh, God damn it. You know, the things are not going well. But, you know, we can probably get some surrounds here. By doing something like that. You guys also be right towards, uh, towards north. Killing even five divisions is worth it. Of course, any any division we can kill. Because right now, it's about 200 and 287 against 164. That's in terms of division count. Which is not... Yeah, you kill you. There's some spots you can move up. But not many. Like, how many, how many manpowers do the Japanese have? About a quarter million. Which really isn't a lot. Okay, Mongolia, you are at 32. What Mongolian city do I not own? I guess there's one up here. That's really about it. You have returned some of your units back under your control, which I understand. Hey, you guys want to help me fight against the Japanese? Anybody? Please? Where even is my capital? It's in Xi'an. Okay. Make your way up there. It's our... I mean, even that only took like 2%. So I, I don't know what we need to kill the Mongolians. But apparently it's a lot more than this. But I do think for right now, uh, I guess this is a good time to end this episode. So uh, thank you for watching my saying If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now enjoy, call you some down. You want to subscribe and goodbye.